Hi everyone, it's Tara from Shaley's Couture Quilting and I have had a late night of quilting sewing today. And I just want to share what I just made. I made a square ruler tote for my business. One of the things I do is I do memory for my customers. So the ones that don't get a chance to come to my house, I will go to them. And I needed something where I could transport my rulers. And so I watched the video by uh, So Smart by Elizabeth on YouTube. But then I needed to kind of just venture on and wing it myself because I had different sizes I was thinking about doing. But the design factor was influenced by her and what she was showing on her YouTube. So definitely check that out because she does a better job at explaining than I do probably. But um, I wanted to share with you what I did. I quilted this with my Bernina on it with my walking foot. I was originally wanting to do a cross hatch, but I haven't quilted with a walking foot in a long time and since I've been long arming and I was just done after the first round. So it has Quilter Stream Poly Deluxe, so you can, you know, space it out as much as you want so you don't have to quilt it so close together and it also gives it a little bit more stability um, after you're done with it and uh, the one thing I would have done more would probably reinforce my straps a little bit more with a better interfacing or quilted it a little bit better or just put some strap straps on it but other than that I'm pretty well pleased I wasn't aiming for perfection so I open it up and this is it. After I quilted it, I cut it to 20 by 18. Oh, no, 40 by 18, excuse me. 40 inches by 18. And then that became my base for the um, insides. I made my pockets separately. I stacked my pockets on top of each other. Um, this is my 16 and a half square ruler pocket. This is my, this is actually like an eight and a half square inch or square inch ruler. Uh, I wanted to put a couple different sizes in there and stuff it some bit. When I pull this out, you can see my six, my 16 and a half ruler coming out and easily back in. Inside my smaller pocket I have for my baby quilts. I've got my six and a half right now and my five and a half, but I can put a, a little bit of a larger one in there because I cut it to be like an eight and a half so it has room over here is my 12 and a half square ruler and my 14 and a half square ruler and these are my common sizes that I use for making my memory quilts and my baby quilts baby clothes quilts so I needed something that I could take and go with me I made sure um, I had a middle here I knew where my 18 or my uh, 20 inch was lying here and then I um, made sure I put my first pocket about a half inch up from that middle line and then th therefore I had enough room so the main pockets you can see I attached at the edge okay and I sewed across onto the main body here. I, always, I finished my edges before I even attached them. You get everything, all your, all your sizes that you need and that you're gonna stack on top of each other. You wanna get all that prepared with separate pockets and use interfacing in between to give it some stability. And then you can stack them for, you can even put like a little smaller one on here if you wanted to. Um, but I want to just kind of keep it like the way I have it. So, but you can you can do a lot of different designs. And the rule of thumb is if you're going to, like when I made this pocket here for the, with the owls, it's a 12 and a half inch ruler. I made it like 13 and a half inch pocket before I did like a a half um, a half inch, maybe a little bit less than a half inch seam allowance all the way around and then I turned it finished the top and then attached it to 
uh, the main pocket on the inside. And when I was ready and done, then I attached it to the main body. So definitely check as smart, so smart by Elizabeth to kind of get an idea of what this thing looks like. But then you can always change out the way you do things by the size of your rollers. This is what I needed for myself. So I just kind of winged it and tweaked it. But very happy with the results. And it's going to be a, a great bag to take with me when I go to visit my customers and work on their memory quilts with them. So very happy. Hope this helps. Bye.